Well, good evening there, and welcome to issue 67. And it is, this issue concerns the Taurus horse. Um, and as you can see on the caption before the video, uh, those are the dates you have to be to fall into this Western and Eastern Zodiac combination. Okay, then, um, as I say, any messages, any queries, any anything at all, uh, just drop me a line on here onto the page um, that this video is associated with or inbox me and I'll ask your questions as quick as I possibly can. Right, let's start where um, we need to and that's in the beginning um, with the, you know, the Taurian horse as a child going into school um, in the early years. Um, one thing you'll notice, um, the, the Taurus on the whole um, can be a little bit laid back, a little bit that's the days of call, not in a nasty way at all. Um, they make friends very easily. They're so easy going. They're so, you know, placid. Not very difficult to bring up at all. Okay, they have a stubborn streak, but they do listen to reason Tauruses and, you know, and they do respond to um, love and affection very much so. So they know if you're saying something in an advisory way that's, um, you know, they know that you mean well. And you can normally sort of coax them around and they're normally pretty well behaved children. When we bring the horse into the mix, um, the horse is a bit more of a go-getter and um, also um, a lot more study orientated in the effects of they want to, they want to do well um, and they are indeed very, very intelligent. And this sort of sets this Taurian a little bit apart from the rest in the, in the family of the Tauruses. Um, they are not so easy to sort of spot because normally where you see the Taurus um, surrounded by friends, doing enough in lessons, um, you know, maybe plodding, but that's what they're good at, they get there in the end and um, they're very loyal and steadfast in that sense for their friends. With the horse there's a little bit more game involved, um, they tend to, you know, want to advance in their studies quickly, um, they're normally excelling languages. Um, music and art and very very early on um, and they tend to be a little bit quicker in their movements um, come to decisions quite a lot quicker they can be a little bit rash in certain um, aspects um, and can be a little bit more hot-headed than your everyday tourists so you do have to watch out for this one um, still will have scads of friends and be very very well liked but there will be um, a little bit more at arm's length from um, their friends because they know there's a little bit of a hothead inside here but it's only because the horse you know is so intelligent that they want to you know they want friendships but that only goes so far they want to advance their life as quickly as possible they get into secondary school um, college universities um, that sort of thing and they really do just want to get there and get there quick. Um, they're quite an impatient sign. And this goes against the grain really with the Taurus, but the Taurus will go with flow. To a certain extent, in the mind, they sit quite happy in there because, you know, the Taurus still does love to achieve. Um, they're not ones to stand on ceremony and um, they're not they're not really sort of, um, you know, bewildered by riches or by flash stuff. That doesn't really win over the Taurian. But with the horse, you know, they like the idea that they can get it. They like the idea that they can get there and they can earn this. And if they, they put their head down, they can achieve this. And they do like that. They do like that structure. Even though they're unpredictable, they like um, to be able to, you know, save up for the cars, for the holidays. Um, they do like a bit of luxury. The horse always does, but they will work hard for it. So with the touring and the luxury, um, this is where the Taurus just let it, let it have its own, you know, space and let let it have its own freedom and say, okay, I'm with you, I'm with you in there, you know, let's go and achieve because ultra bright, um, and as I say, they will get very high up, they will do ever so well, art, music, design, um, languages, um, they will excel, um, the good people, persons, you know. Uh, they they're not maybe as smiley or as warm as the Taurus, but then again the Taurus is a little bit slow if they're front of house or if they're leading a company or they're an integral part of it. 
so the horse does need to, he grabs hold of the reins a bit and says come on we're moving we're pushing this forward pushing this idea forward they're very innovative um, and they will work extra long hours um, that's where the touring comes in to help the horse out that steadfastness keeps the man could say okay okay but we still need that little stability you know let's not go too crazy let's not put all our eggs in you know one basket which they can do but then again they're so talented that you know 99 times out of 100 they're going to come up plants they're going to come up with a great idea a way to make the company run better or their own business better um, and as I say not a lot um, stops them being an international with their company either because languages aren't a barrier um, and flying and travel etc they love to do all that the touring's not particularly keen but you know as I say the horse will win the day there in the mindset of this character if we look along to you know the tourist let's go on the tourist that is it, it's renowned for being loyal yes it's very renowned to being loyal to its friends and as I say flash things do not um, you know excite them too much they like to know what they've got when they've got it and they're gladly plod along but the horse when the horse comes into the mix it makes this character a little bit more flighty for they think yes I can achieve they can get their head turned a little they can be uh, romanced by um, flattery which isn't the tourist way um, the tourist likes people to do rather than to say you know and subtle things the tourist will pick up on not lavish um, shows of affection or love you know they they very much believe in um, you know actions speak louder than words but with the horse they can get brought they can get brought into this this lavish sort of lifestyle and they will get their head turned they're not as loyal as your everyday Torian because of this um, and they can um, hop a little they can hop a little get into where they're going um, yes they can break hearts because they are very physically you know very handsome or very pretty because their physicality is one thing you will notice whereas the ball um, towards the ball can be quite squat and very strongly built and you'll notice with the neck ever so powerful uh, with the horse they're a little bit more elongated um, there's a little bit more femininity although this horse is very feminine don't get me wrong but there's a little bit more um, a debonair sort of air especially with the guys as well they're very sort of um, they've got fine taste and things like that so just set them slightly apart so yes they can be involved in quite a few different affairs and um, it's not wise that they get settled very early because um, it's, it, they will probably have three or four maybe five serious relationships before they hit the nail on the head where they think right I've gone to where I want to go the tourist takes over them they say right I want that stability I want that stability because at the end of the day you know the tourist being an earth sign very tactile um, like shows of affection in the bedroom and, and so does the horse so um, the sexual chemistry has to be right for the horse very very much so so if, if we look at the perfect partners for the taurian horse then we don't look any further than the tiger the tiger has the sexual chemistry um, which is um, very very appealing to the horse both are unpredictable but the tiger is very full fight and they're a very fine specimen you know where they can be slightly light on the actual love making the horse will then take over their expertise and their drive and their passion will really roll the tiger along and it's fantastic that mix and so if we look at tigers if we look at Virgo tigers we look at um, Capricorn tigers Piscean tigers and Cancer tigers they were all wonderful matches and also the dogs okay well I've mentioned where the dogs are um, not hot blooded in that sense where they are fantastic is their comforting and their warmth which you know let the horse take over in the bedroom in that sense for the extra stuff but the dog with its solidity it's, it's forever watchfulness and it's deep caring and loving ability the horse will very much appreciate because even though they're prone to unpredictability they're at no deep 
in their soul, you know, deep down that the dog's going to be there, they've got their back, and they really appreciate the horse, because the horse occasionally can be out on a limb on an idea, or, or you know, they can occasionally upset people because they're quite forthright, and the dog's always there, always there to support them and, and mediate, and sort of like give them that bit of backbone and that bit of strength to say, look, you're not on your own, so wonderful matches. So if we look at Virgo dogs, we look at Capricorn dogs, Piscean dogs, and also Cancerian dogs. You know, that's a wonderful match game. The ones to avoid for the uh, Taurian horse are all rats, really. Um, really doesn't mix. Um, okay, they will enjoy um, spending some cash together, but whereas the horse may go out on a limb on some sort of, uh, you know, business deal, and, and, and they're really gone for it, that will unsettle the rat, and the rat then can get a bit sort of uh, sarcastic, a little bit argumentative, and can damage sort of like the spirit, especially of the spirit of the Taurian horse, of, who, 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 you know, when when, it, when it's home-based, or when it's people close to them, they, they're not conflict lovers. You know, if they've got a bat when business, they will, but they don't like it, and rats will sort of, sort of say it how it is. They say, no, that's, that's you know, and they keep on at them, they'll end up being a war of words there. Um, although quite hot sexual chemistry, the war of words will wear these down, and I, I don't recommend that because there will be long, painstaking arguments going on there, which the horse will, you know, up sticks and I and go. I I can imagine, and 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 the rat won't be too displeased with that. Okay, if we look at health issues, well, because of the love of luxury here. Um, and also the fine, the finer things, um, we have to look at certain weight issues, maybe ever so slightly here, and, you know, the luxury of good foods, good wines, um, stuff like that, you know, got to be a little bit careful, I don't think they'd be over drinking or over smoking, personally, that's not really their character, but I just think it's them, you know, the utter luxuries of, you know, of, you know, indulgence, that may possibly, but on the whole you've got the strong Taurian, you've got the strong horse, you've got a real quite athletic sort of person, so I think they'll avoid that, they feel like the pounds are piling on a little bit, they'll be out there running, they'll be joining the gym, and they'll be back to themselves, but as I say, just keep an eye on that, especially around Christmas and festive times, it can be a little bit of a problem. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this issue, and please tune in to the next one. Thank you.